Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And today we're going to talk about five secrets that your sales manager will never tell you. Five pivotal keys to success that, frankly, you're going to be left in the dark to as it relates to what really pushes the needle on profit and performance unless you tune into this podcast, which of course you're doing. So it's time to shine the light of insight on what really counts, what really matters, and what really makes the difference between the top producers, the top 1% income earners, and everyone else. So let's get into it and do it, shall we? The first secret is simply this. You're not in the mortgage business, you're in the marketing business. I guarantee you, your sales manager, your company owner will not tell you this simply because they can't give you that which they don't have. And since they don't have it, they cannot pass it on to you. But I'm here to tell you, the sooner you understand what business you're truly in, that you're not in the mortgage business, you're in the marketing business, you will hands down double, triple, quadruple your income almost overnight. Because once you understand you're in the marketing business, it changes everything in terms of how you spend your days. Instead of just pushing paper and putting out fires and having your fireman cap on, dealing with loan level issues all day and having a bunch of activity, you're actually gonna shift into productivity. There's a big difference between activity and productivity. And the most potently profitable, productive activity you can ever do is and always will be bringing in more business. Because let's be real, if you don't have more business coming in the door, you're gonna be the best kept secret around and you're gonna have skinny kids. So take it from me, friends, you're not in the mortgage business, you're in the marketing business. Let your daily agenda be governed and molded in light of that. And your goal should be spending 80% of your time or more bringing in more business, making it rain, beating the bushes for business, lead generation activities, and only 20% of your days putting out fires, dealing with loan level issues, and pushing paper. Because pushing paper will always pay less than power profit activities, like booking appointments with top producing agents, and attracting more business from your existing database in the form of repeat and referral business. Those will always pay you more than pushing paper all day long. And you know that to be true. So you're not in the mortgage business, you're in the marketing business. The second secret your sales manager will never tell you is that cold calling is a freaking waste of time and cold calling realtors is doing it the hard way. Why do I say that? Because the lion's share of company owners and sales managers are beating that drum all day long because that's all they know. Cold call realtors every freaking Monday, chase them, grovel for business, blah, blah, blah. And why do they say that? Not because they're not kind, not because they're not benevolent, not because they're not beautiful and well-intended human beings, but simply because they don't know any better. They can't give you that which they don't have. So unfortunately, it's a bit of the blind leading the blind where just because it worked for them 10, 15, 20 years ago, they assume and presume it still works today. And yes, it works better than doing nothing. If you throw enough yogurt to the fan, eventually something's going to stick, but that's still doing it the hard way. I liken it to trying to get up to the top floor, the penthouse floor, the P floor, the prosperity floor on the skyscraper of your business. And you want to get there somehow, some way, right? But instead of taking the elevator and just pressing the P button to get straight to making penthouse money, prosperity money, you doing cold calling and calling realtors out of the blue without any unique kick-ass value proposition is like putting on a 50 pound rucksack and grinding your buns off manually through manual human effort up 20 staircases. That's doing it the freaking hard way, friends. Now, if you like doing it the hard way, knock yourself out. I much prefer just pressing the P button on the elevator. And chances are that's the case for most of you listening or watching because that's why you're tuning into the podcast. You wanna work smarter versus just working harder true? There's a better way to attract more business. It's called attraction marketing versus prospecting. Prospecting is old school from the dark ages. That's caveman methods of marketing. There's no need for the gardening trial to build the foundation for your skyscraper when there's something called an excavator. 
way more fun and way more fruitful. The third secret is simply this. Only using your company's CRM is like building your house on someone else's title. You see, your database doesn't make money in and of itself. If you just export your list of contacts, past clients, for example, that doesn't make you one iota of money, not one single penny. The only thing that makes you money are the campaigns that help you to monetize it, campaigns that help you stay in touch, add value, cultivate the relationship, touch them with the right message at the right time using the right media. And that is a CRM. If you're just using Outlook and an Excel spreadsheet, I'm telling you right now, you're leaving a shit ton of money on the table. Because if you're using just Excel and a spreadsheet, you're not leveraging technology at the level you could or should. And it's causing you to leave a lot of money on the table and lost deals, lost opportunities. And here's the insidious part about it. When you lose a deal to your competitor, your client is not blowing a horn or start sounding a trumpet or sounding an alarm when they leave you to go to your competitor. It's slipping out the back door. You're hemorrhaging opportunity, not even knowing about it. And that is the insidious and conspicuous part about it. But so often mortgage professionals are just using their company CRM and they're naively neglecting to have their own CRM under their control that they pay for, where they're able to stay in touch with their database long term, cultivate those relationships of prospects and realtors and clients long term under their control. It's like building a house on some, uh, someone else's title. That is not smart. And you guys know that to be true. And anyone who's been in this game for any period of time who has moved to a new company and who has lost their database knows that to be true. It's a very expensive lesson. You don't want to make that lesson yourself. You don't want to learn that lesson yourself the hard way. You want to be preemptive and proactive to take it from me and get your own CRM that you pay for and start building a system of campaigns to cultivate those relationships long-term post-closing. You can use your company CRM for everything pre-closing, but when it comes to post-closing marketing, you wanna have it on in your control, in your back pocket, so you're portable and so that you're flexible and you can bounce from whatever company you want and you don't have to worry about losing the most valuable asset in your business, which is not just your database, but more importantly, the campaigns that help you to monetize it. And this is coming from a guy who owns a mortgage company, is building a national mortgage brokerage, and we're bringing on loan officers every single week, every single month. And I tell them the same thing I'm telling you. You want to build your own CRM because that is the single most valuable asset you have. And if you're not being told that, it's because either A, they don't know what to tell you, or they're trying to put the will, pull the will, wool over your eyes because they know if you know this, that you're gonna have more power to move to whatever company they want, and you're not gonna have your proverbial nuts or ovaries in a vice when it comes to them having control of the most important asset in your business. So don't let that happen to you. Take the power back, take the control back, get your own CRM. The fourth secret is judge your progress by leading metrics, not lagging metrics. What's the difference? Well, lagging metrics are the things that most sales managers beat the drum on all day long. Volume, units, closings, commissions, you know, revenue, and all that is fine and dandy, but frankly, that doesn't really amount to a, hills, a hill of beans if you're not doing the leading metrics, which is the seed planting that takes root and bears fruit into the harvest of volume and closings and commissions. So the single most important thing you wanna be focusing on as a mortgage professional is not the lagging metrics, but the leading metrics. Leading metrics are things like how many outbound calls did you make to realtors who responded to your realtor attraction campaign that got them pre-cooked, pretenderized, hot for what you got in advance of talking to them. So now it's just like a hot knife through butter, pick up the phone and start responding to the responders. How many of those responses to the responders are you making per day? How many appointments are you booking per day, per week? Set your goal in advance each week. How many appointments am I going to book with top producing agents this week? 
And then, of course, that's a big reason why people hire us in Mortgage Marketing Coach, because they don't have a realtor attraction campaign. They're doing it the hard way, cold calling. They realize that's leaving a lot of money on the table. It's wasting a lot of time and it's creating a lot of unnecessary frustration and fruitless toil. That's precisely why they hire us to avoid the quagmire of all that pain and strain without getting the gain. So you want to have a system in like that in place so that, again, you're attracting versus prospecting. One, you're repelling people by chasing them. The other one, you're attracting them to you by having kick-ass unique value no one else offers and having words that work that make your overture palatable, compelling, and enticing. Very different energy. One puts you in control in the driver's seat where you hold the cookie. The other one has you be at the effect of whatever realtors want to do. And usually it's their rejection, their apathy, their resignation, and a high wall of fear around wasting their time with another loan leech mortgage professional and not giving you the time of day. So it's important, again, that you are judging your progress based on leading metrics inside of a system that allows you to now be way more effective with your overtures. So reaching out to clients, for example, with the right message at the right time where they raise their hand and say, yeah, I'm interested to talk. Yeah, I'm interested in having a conversation. And then you lead them into a conversation that culminates into more repeat and referral business. Elegant, very simple, very powerful. Same with realtors. How many appointments are you gonna book this week? Put that system in place to get them raising their hand to say, I'm interested. And then it's like a hot knife through butter, bada bing, bada boom, you're booking appointments at will. Why? Because you have a system and you're focusing on the right activities and you're pushing the needle on profit and performance at the highest level as a result of that. And finally, the fifth secret that your sales manager will never tell you is for the best return on your money, pour your purse into your head. Most sales managers, unfortunately, are trying to get you to spend the least amount possible because they're afraid if you spend too much money and you don't bring in enough commissions, you're going to get chewed up and spat out and you're going to have to go back to nine to five prison with an office ball and chain around your ankle and they're going to lose you. So that makes sense, right? They don't want you to spend unnecessary money. They don't want you to be too lavish with your investments because they realize you only have a certain amount of runway if you're new anyway. And they don't want you to get chewed up and spat out where you're in desperation and you have to go get a day job just to float the boat and keep the lights on. That's one aspect and it makes sense, but that's not the whole truth of the matter. That's not the whole perspective that you need to know. The whole perspective you need to know is that you can become more because, or rather you can have more because you can become more. It's like Jim Rohn said, you don't chase success. It eludes you like an elusive butterfly. You attract success by the person you become, by becoming an attractive person. How do you become an attractive person? By taking intelligent, bold, strategic risks and investments in growing yourself, developing yourself, becoming the best version of yourself, working on expanding the strength of the muscle between your two ears so that you become more potently valuable to the marketplace. You can have more because you can become more. So good old Benny Franklin, he had a great quote. He said, for the best return on your money, pour your purse into your head, right? Pour your purse into your head because when you invest in yourself strategically and intelligently, you have so much more wisdom, tact, discernment, skill. You have the right message at the right time for the right people in this context. If you don't have the right message for the right people using the right media at the right time, you're just throwing yogurt to the fan, hoping something sticks. Like there's plenty of coaching companies out there that will get you doing it the hard way. So not all investments are equal. One of the reasons why people roll with us on Planet Prosper at MortgageMarketingCoach.com, they're done with doing it the hard way. They're done with using the gardening trowel when they know there's something called an excavator. They're done with grinding up the 20 story staircase with a 50 pound rucksack on their back when they know there's something called an elevator. They realize there's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. And so since there are no merit badges for grinding longer and harder than you should, it only makes sense then to take the strategic shortest path to the cash in order to take that strategic shortest path to the cash, 
it just comes to reason you're going to have a whole lot more expense learning from your own mistakes than you are to learn from an expert who already has the battle-tested proven systems campaigns, the scripts, the words that work, the attraction methods that have been time-tested and proven. So rather than having to step on your own landmines and lose appendages as a result and bleed out opportunity unnecessarily as a result, you have a roadmap to follow where you can avoid those landmines. You can avoid those ditches. So you can just go straight to what works without messing around doing it the hard way. So that's why for the best return on your money and your time, pour your purse into your head. Be strategic about up-leveling your mentors, up-level your coaches. If you have been following sports for any period of time, you know that there's game-changing rises and falls in athletes' performance and ultimately their legacy and their career destiny based on who they choose to have in their corner, the coaches they choose to strategically align themselves with. You'll notice that one of the things that makes the difference in people that are just mediocre versus greatness is they surround themselves with great coaches, great consultants, great mentors, great influences that bring out the best in the athlete or whatever the particular context might be. The same thing goes here on the front lines of capitalism in the real world as a mortgage professional. If you're only listening to people who've only made 300K a year, chances are you'll never supersede 300K a year because you're listening to people that have capped out at 300K a year. If you're up leveling to mentors and coaches that have made millions, and continue to make millions based on them leading by example and living it themselves, chances are you'll make millions too because the disciplined and devoted student becomes like his teacher, becomes like his master. And the same goes for you. So if you wanna up-level your life, up-level the circle of champions and coaches in your corner. Very simple yet profound and most sales managers unfortunately are not leading by example. And the truth be told, for you sales managers listening to this right now, your people are gonna do double what you do wrong and half of what you do right. And you know that to be true. So the most powerful way to influence your people, not just to be the hero, but make heroes, and not just to have your own dreams, but help your team achieve their dreams, is to lead by example. There is no more powerful way to influence your people than leading by example. With that being said, if you're listening to this right now, you're like, Dorn, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm reading your mail, brother, and preach it, preach it, because I'm feeling that, and this is exactly what I needed to know and exactly what I needed reminding on. And you're at this place where you're wanting to mitigate the effects of market downshifts and rate increases, and you know the writing's on the wall. Rates have already increased several times over the last month and a half. The writing is on the wall. It's not a matter of if, but how much and when. And you want to be positioned proactively and preemptively to be least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most. So you can hedge yourself against those storms, against that flood that will be unleashing against the marketplace. And those who are unprepared or ill-prepared, let me say that again, those who are unprepared or ill-prepared, those are the ones that will be dropping like flies in 6, 12, 24 months. Those who just cling to the refi boom without being preemptive and proactive to dive deep into the purchase market and surround themselves with a stable of top producing realtors who make them their exclusive. I'll tell you what, all those lackadaisical, complacent mortgage professionals that have been fat and happy on this recent refi boom, they're going to be scrambling, caught with their pants down, trying to recoup that lost revenue as 50, 60, 70, 80% of their income drops out of the floor overnight. And the clients we work with are the ones who realize that it's going to be a lot more expensive, a whole lot more stress and desperation, and a whole lot more sleepless nights to be lagging in reaction mode versus being a front of the, in front of the curve and being preemptive and proactive so that they can beat their competitors to the punch and already have the rock star top producers who are sending all their business who already have a solid foothold into the purchase market, who are already bringing in an ever increased flow of purchase business because of those alliances. You wanna be glad you did, not wish you had. And those are the clients we work with. So if that's you and you wanna double, triple, quadruple your purchase 
business. You want to be able to sleep well at night knowing that you have an ironclad, rock-solid, recession-proof business. And you want to be able to up-level your game by up-leveling a circle of champions in your corner, a circle of coaches that help you bring your best, do your best, and have you show up creating your best life and your best career. If that's you and you want to increase your income by at least $100,000, you want to work smarter, not harder. You want to do away with old school methods from the dark ages like cold calling and you want to be like a hot knife through butter attracting the right partners so you can pick and choose who you want to work with working on your terms not theirs where you hold the cookie you're in the power position if that's you and you'd like to learn more about how you can really take a huge quantum leap breakthrough in your business working smarter not harder i invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. You will connect with either me or one of my consultants. When you do so, we'll have an honest, real talk conversation on the phone and we'll lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to be. And if we can help you create a breakthrough in your business, by all means, I'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we will be the very first people to advise you to pass on our services, perhaps recommend something else or someone else. Either way, my friend, you will leave that call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun along the way. All right, so this is about a real talk conversation. If you don't wanna have a real talk conversation, do not book a call. If you don't wanna learn what it really takes to double, triple, quadruple your purchase business, and to be able to work smart, not hard, because it's outside of the norm and conventional methods, then do not book, book the call. If you're prone to following the herd and doing what everyone else is doing because that's what's normal and you're not willing to stretch out of your comfort zone to do something new or different to get different results, do not book the call. If you're just comfy cozy doing the same old thing and getting the same old results, do not book the call. If you tend to say, yeah, but, yeah, but, and you have all the answers and your cup is so full that there's nothing else to put in, do not book the call. We only work with people who, number one, realize that their way is not working at the level they need it to. Number two, they're willing to be coachable and learn a better method from a proven plan, a proven system with a proven formula. And they're defiantly committed to becoming the best version of themselves and growing to that next level of performance and profitability and freedom. If that is indeed you, and you know without a shadow of a doubt, you're ready for that next level living and next level performance, and you wanna stream on it. So it's just elegant simplicity, shortest path to the cash without messing around with all the clutter and all the BS and all the quagmire of bullshit that distracts you. You just wanna get straight to what works. Go ahead and book a call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. This has been an opportunity for you guys to tune in to learn the five secrets that you will never hear from your company owner and or your sales manager on what it really takes to claim extraordinary success in this business and claim your best life in your career. I've just delineated those five secrets to success. So now you have them. Now you want to apply that to your business. And as you do, I guarantee you're going to see a significant marked increase in your business with a whole lot more fun and flow and fulfillment. This is Dornell Dana coming at you from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Looking forward to seeing you again on the next episode. Be blessed. Take massive action. Let's get massive results. Peace, y'all.